welcome to Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth, Rising Tide Expansion. Rising Tide introduces new gameplay possibilities and challenges for players. Here is the new ocean variant of our Explore unit. This coastal city is taking advantage of resources on this primordial biome. The primordial biome represents a young and volcanic planet. Biomes now offer specific benefits for players, and players will have to make key choices in order to respond to the traits of the world. Here, our explorer has come into contact with a new alien, the Scarab Swarm. He's going to use his leash ability to domesticate these scarabs to help him explore this empty continent. We're playing as one of our new factions, Alphala, under the leadership of Arshia Kishk. Unlike other sponsors, Alphala traveled through space without the benefit of cryogenics, which gave their culture its unique direction. A history of working with scarce resources means Alphala gets bonuses to city processes. Diplomatic interactions with other leaders have been greatly expanded in Rising Tide. Right now, our planet is embroiled in a multi-sided conflict. By selecting Show Relationship, we can see how other leaders feel towards the other groups on the planet. Elodie, for example, is hostile to Bare. Kozlov, on the other hand, is neutral towards both of them. Another expanded area is oceanic gameplay. Our explorer here has a number of choices open. Should we clear this sea hive or explore this derelict settlement lander? Let's dive and investigate this crash satellite. Ocean gameplay has been worked deeply into existing game systems such as this resource pod. We're going to send our patrol boats to recover it now. We have recovered some science for our people, but we might have uncovered an artifact. Artifacts are another major new system of Beyond Earth, Rising Tide. You can find artifacts through excavation, conquest, or collection. Artifacts can come from Old Earth, aliens, or the mysterious progenitors. We can use artifacts individually for an immediate yield, or collect and combine them for more powerful benefits, like new buildings, wonders, or perks for our colony. We'll wait for now and get one of these powerful benefits later. With our world in conflict, we need a safe place to settle a new city and expand our colony. Settling the ocean offers us our best chance now. Here's our ocean settler standing by with its submarine escorts, approaching a good location. We could gain access to these deep sea vents and alien egg resources. We would also be able to build some new ocean-focused wonders, like the benthic auger or abyssal mirror. But our ideal site is surrounded by this hydrocoral. These aliens block sea tiles, like a terrain feature, and counterattack any nearby units that fight them. We'll use ranged attacks to clear out the hydrocoral and make way for our colonists. We'll settle now, and in the near future, we'll have a sea city controlling the ocean here. Attacking the hydrocoral has angered the alien wildlife of the planet, and now we must defend our capital. We've seen some of Rising Tide's new naval units in action, but here we see that our upgraded submarines and patrol boats reflect our devotion to the purity affinity. Let's defend our city from the amphibious Makara, the Rippers, and the sea dragon aliens threatening our trade routes before the planet overwhelms us. We'll start by fighting the Makara who have come ashore.
finally, we'll clear out this floating hive and hope that this buys us time to continue to grow Alphala. For the moment, our capital is safe and the seas nearby are ready for our next expansion. Rising Tide will bring players new fascinating choices, threats, mysteries and challenges in the next chapter of humanity's future.